Well, hello, hello, hello. This is a delicious snack. It's a great combination. Grapes and granola bars, perfect snack. Our letter of the day is letter G. G is for grapes, G is for granola bar. G is also for lots of other things. I'd like to draw with you, so get your hands ready. First, we'll fold the top of our paper down a ways, just a little bit. And today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna take this paper now that we folded it forward, now we're gonna fold it back just a little bit. because we need two folds up there at the top. Good, and at the bottom, just one little fold will do. Good. Let's grab something to write with. So we can get started with letter G. I'm gonna trace on the fold. This is the first one we made. And then the second one we made, I'm going to make a dotted line. They, they look like little dashes. Take your time, keep your eye on the line. Okay, very good. Now let's go to the bottom of the page and do the same thing. Trace on the line. Slowly, carefully, to make it as straight as you possibly can. Very good. Now I'm like I'm going to grab a different color marker because I want to make sure that when I write I can see which is which. So let's see. I'll choose blue. G. Capital G. So let's get started. We're going to write this nice and big. We're going to start right about here. We're going to circle back to the middle and then slide left. Let's do it again. Start near the top and circle back to the middle. And the middle is where this line is. And then we're going to slide left. Let's do it again. Circle back to the middle and slide left. This is the middle here where this dotted line is. And this is the bottom. So start near the top here, come all the way around to the middle, and slide left. I think we can do two more. Circle back to the middle line, and slide left. Circle back to the middle line, slide left. Those are some great letter G's. Lowercase g. Okay. Circle back all the way around. Push up straight. Pull down straight. Curve back. Let's do that again. Circle all the way around. Push up straight, pull down straight, and curve back. Some people call that a monkey tail. Looks sort of like it, doesn't it? Let's do again. Circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, curve back. 
circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, curve back. Circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, curve back. Circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, curve back. Circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, curve back. I'm going to do two more. So circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, curve back. And the last one, circle all the way around, push up straight, pull down straight, Curve back. Big G, little G. What begins with G? Hmm. We already talked about one of the things that begin with G. Grapes. Those are so delicious. I'll get back to my snack in a minute. But there are other things that begin with G, like gum. That's not the best snack, but it'll keep your mouth busy. G is also for goat. Goats are funny animals. If you've ever seen them at the farm, they are very, very funny. Their behavior is funny. And in my wonderful book of ABCs, oh, I turned straight to the page with letter G. It has the same steps here where we um, start to circle back and go around to the middle and then push but slide left. And the G, the lowercase g is there. And there is G for girl. What a cute little girl. And another G underneath. Big G and little G for goat. So let's see what we can draw. That begins with the letter G. Grapes. I'm going to start with grapes. Drawing grapes is easy because they're ovals, circle shapes that are really close together. They're touching one another because they come in these bunches, these clusters. They're usually touching one another and then they'll have the stems that are connecting them. G is for grapes. A delicious snack, grapes. Hmm, another G word. I'm thinking of a musical instrument. A guitar. Now a guitar shapes, has shapes that are curvy. Like the top of the car, the guitar is curved almost like a rainbow line. And the bottom of the guitar is curved like a larger curved line. It goes upside down. And it has a hole, and that's where the sound vibrations come from. And the neck. And then up here, there are tuning pegs. I'm not sure I have the right amount up here, but I'll just do a few tuning pegs. And then down here, there's a rectangle for holding the strings that come down from the neck. The strings come down from the neck. They go across the hole where the sound comes out. I think there are six. I'm doing my best to get six in here. For this is our guitar. I once took guitar lessons, but I moved away and couldn't continue. And then I switched to the clarinet. I don't play either of them now. But G is for guitar. Here's an easy one. A 
I bet you guessed it. G is for grass. Green grass. Okay, hmm. Something else with letter G. How about this one? Something spooky. A ghost. Now, a ghost body is soft and flowy. And let's give this ghost a spooky mouth that looks like he's saying boo. And there are the eyes. Ghost. Ghost. Hmm. Oh, I know something else. Something that I wear on my face that I've had to wear since I was a little girl. Glasses. When I look at this sideways, it looks like a letter, capital letter B almost. I made a straight line and then I curved up and then I came back down with another curve and then I made these are called the arms of the glasses. Glasses. Very good. What else starts with G? Oh. Now a goat, it might be too hard to draw, but this animal, I know you can do it. I'm going to do a giraffe. We're going to start with a long rectangle neck and an oval for the body. And then I'm going to give this giraffe four long legs, two in the front and two in the back. And then I'll add a smaller oval for the head and two ears. I'll use the brown to show where the nose is and the eyes and some spots on this giraffe. And the legs, the feet, the hooves. I think giraffes have what are called hooves for feet. And then a little tail. Oh, they have these knobby things on their heads that look like look like old fashioned controllers for video games. We used to use those knobs. I guess I'm telling my age now. I'm going to use orange to trace around because this yellow was a little hard to see. But there's that long neck that was like a long rectangle. And then the body was shaped like an oval. And then the long legs are like rectangles. G is for giraffe. One of my favorite books to read is Giraffes Can't Dance. It's about a giraffe that didn't believe in himself until he tried. You never know what you do, can do unless you try. You might not be a great artist yet, but keep trying. Giraffe. Wow, that looks great. That was exciting. So, come back with me another day. And we'll do another letter of the day. But until then, remember, art makes you smart. Keep drawing, keep creating, and keep practicing forming your letters.